very late in the evening daily dub. I think it's uh, 9.09 as I'm recording this Eastern time. Hopefully I can get it up on YouTube before 10. It has been a long day. Uh, we had Royal Rumble last night. I had an unexpected visit I had to make to Manhattan this morning. I was supposed to be here where I'm at right now in Princeton tomorrow. But because of the visit to Manhattan, I just went ahead and changed things up. And so I'm here. So it's been a very long, long day for me. But uh, I have three questions I'm going to try to cover, and they're all kind of tied together. Uh, first, from Pete Johnson. Hey, Pete Johnson, what do you like most about collecting? And then from Scott Kessler, talk about my early years of collecting. And then from Prulio, what got me started in collecting and hunting for toys? So since these are kind of all a, a very similar thing, uh, I'll call those people out and kind of take you through. So uh, really, for as long as I can remember, I have been collecting stuff. Um, as a child, I wanted to get all the Ninja Turtles. I had basically all the Ninja Turtles. Uh, previous to that, like Battle Beast, if you remember the little Battle Beast, I was trying to get all those, the little muscle men, the little things that were very cheap, and they'd make a bunch of, and you try to get them all. Those are kind of like the earliest things I can remember collecting. Uh, something like G uh, Transformers, uh, we couldn't afford, so I didn't have a lot of those other than what like my mom would find at a uh, yard sale or something like that. Um, did have a bunch of G.I. Joe, but never really any vehicles except for, again, yard sale type thing. No play sets or something like that, just the figures. Uh, the probably very earliest toy collectible thing I can remember is the LJN, like rubber wrestlers. Like I had Big John Stud and Georgie Animal Steel. Junkyard dog, those are like some of the earliest things. And they used to live in this bucket underneath the sink for the bathtub. I play with them in the tub. And I know I also hit my sister Kimberly in the head with those things because they were great weapons when I was a little boy. So, uh, you know, as a child, those were kind of some of the formative things. And, uh, I mean, even still to this day, I have some of them rubber wrestlers. Uh, but that's, it led to me wanting to fill in the gaps of my Ninja Turtles collection when that was my collection, as I've talked about before. Um, and, uh, that's kind of it. You know, uh, I've also collected, uh, video games. I haven't talked about this much, but in the, uh, in the days that I was selling my Ninja Turtles collection, I was also selling a lot of our, uh, original video games that we had, or I'd come across or find and collect over the years. And that was before kind of the video game boom that's happened recently, especially with all the YouTube channels, Game Chasers and, uh, the angry Nintendo nerd and those different things like that. Um, before that had blown up where you could still find them at swap meet for like a dollar. Those days are long gone for video games. Uh, and they're almost gone for uh, figures and stuff too. Um, so a lot of video games we collected as well. So, uh, what do I like most about collecting? Um, really it is a way to express a uh, enjoyment of a thing that I like, right? Like we don't collect typically, I mean, some people may, but you don't collect things that you have no tie to whatsoever. Uh, basically everything I collect now, I either like the book, I like the comic book, I like uh, movies or TV shows that they're in, or art styles or something like that. I don't know that there's anything I collect that I don't also consume other forms of that media. So it's a way to express your appreciation for the brand to express your fandom. Uh, I'm also a big sports guy, you know, and as sports people, we express our fandom by wearing jerseys or collecting helmets or autographs or footballs or whatever, right? We do the same thing and it's representations of what that group does. And that's kind of the thing that I like the most about collecting is doing that. And then because of the way the collecting community has become, you get a fandom just like you do with an athletic team. And that's what this community is. That's what I love so much about this with you all on YouTube is it's like it's like we're our little fan base for figures or, you know, toys or statues or whatever it is we collect. Funko, you know, all that. And uh, that's cool that we get to have that experience. And then uh, what got me started in collecting a hunting for toys, kind of already talked about it a little bit, but uh, my mom was a big yard sailor, antique store, flea market to this day. Um, you know, when she and I hang out together, that's what we do is go to places like that. And so just forever, that's what we've been doing, hunting for stuff. Um, my dad is the same way. We have very clear memories. Uh, I think in the Pence Pack Facebook group recently, somebody posted the McDonald's Happy Meal toy, Power Rangers. I have a very vivid memory of my dad going all over the town, looking, buying Happy Meals to find the specific toy for Victoria because she was a big Power Rangers fan. 
I just remember that. He always did that. He'd always hunt around. I remember PandaCon and Ray Filet, old Ninja Turtles, were ones that were like impossible to find in our area. And we just look and look and look and try to find them. And so that's, uh, that's just kind of how we've been. We've also always been like negotiate, bundle it, and try to find the coupon. And, uh, you know, and, and for most of our lives, that was out of necessity uh, to make things affordable. Um, and now that you know, you know, we've we've been fortunate enough to maybe have a little uh, a little extra discretionary income. We still do it because it's just the way we've always been. It's just the way it's happened. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed those questions. I do want to show you. I did. Uh, I was in New York for six hours, but when I'm in New York, I have to go to my favorite store, which is Image Anime, and uh, I wanted to get this. This is the uh, One Up for the SH Figure Arts Mario Collection. It's like a you know, like the green one up in a little question block. That was an exclusive somewhere that I had never picked up. I got this. The This is the Iron Man Mark 22 hot rod armor and the shipper. This was for the Marvel Age of Heroes exhibit exclusive, like just came out from Figure Arts. Uh, super excited for that. And I picked up the Leia SH Figure Arts as well. This is the New Hope. I actually just got the hot toy looks like this so uh all three of those are on my list i knew they had them i saw on their instagram today they had uh ha had the uh, hot rod in stock so i did a little t2 on my walk to the train station and picked them up so anyway um we finished the day the dub life episode last night at royal rumble it's ridiculous i think you're gonna like it um but that's still several episodes away uh next week or uh, coming you right now you're watching the seattle episode and then you've got uh, more fun to come from there. So hopefully you're enjoying the things that come. I think it's episode 16 that we just finished. I am not filming Dub Life right now because I'm at a corporate conference and it, it, it'd be stupid. You wouldn't enjoy it. So uh, I'll try to do a daily dub every day and keep that going. And uh, you'll get a trailer for the next Dub Life on Wednesday. Hope you enjoy that. So anyway, I'm going to call it for now. On the count of three, give me a, a, a soft but firm squeeze it. One, two, three, squeeze it.